Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Now today is really exciting because we are actually going out for the first time in however many weeks now. So part of the new guidelines that came out regarding the lockdown allows us to now go fishing. And Dan used to be really into fishing however many years back so we still have a lot of the gear and we have a lake just down the road. So that is what we're doing today which is gonna be, it's gonna be lovely just to be out in the fresh air and actually do something. Ha ha ha, honey toast. Right, breakfast is eaten, makeup is on and we are ready to go. We've packed a, well, Dan's packed a little bag. We have an old like camping kettle and stove so that we can have coffee. Got some good old trusty coffee mate here. Got our pat lunches as well. We are well prepared. We're actually going out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We've actually done pretty, pretty well to get out of the house by this time, especially considering <laughs> considering the circumstances. Um, it's 8.25, we were actually awake at about six, but obviously like, you need to stay in bed and watch friends whilst you drink coffee, don't you? Here he is, with drinkies. Ooh, a lot of different stuff. There's that, something hydrating as well. Mm. And then, thought we might want this. Yeah. We can share it. Yeah, oh my goodness, let's pop that in there. So we have a co-op iced coffee latte. I have no idea what it's like. No, it will be interesting to see though. How much was it? I, I don't know, about a pound something. Oh, really? All of that was three quid something. So. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what to do with this now. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, well, this is not going quite as planned. One of the tyres, one of the rear tyres has a slit in it. We'll make it home. We're going to make it home. And obviously it is a Sunday. So there's one tire place that might be open at 10 o'clock, but I mean, it's not even quarter to nine yet. We literally got however many yards down the road from the garage and it, it went, we just heard this noise. Not really what we had envisioned for today. We could just take my car to go pick up a tire. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully we'll get it sorted. Sorry. How annoying. Yep. There it is. Oh. Oh wait. There we go. That's very hot. Is it? Yep. Oh man. We can drive on that though. Yeah, it's split up here as well. Is it up there as well? Yeah. Oh yeah. You can see what it's wearing as well. What, because it's split? Yeah. I'm just driving on the flat. we are home at least we made it home got the iced coffee here gonna give that a try yeah that's yummy it's not bad, is it? that is good <laughs> something to enjoy now what hey if this place does open at 10 and they have a tire that will fit we might be able to get it sorted and still go fishing for a few hours but we'll have to wait and see Right, so we've just had back from a garage and we're not gonna be able to get a tire until tomorrow, which to be honest was kind of expected. So everything is now in my car and we are going to the lake. Well, if we can get a spot. Well, there was only like three people there yesterday, wasn't there? Hopefully in this, the same situation again. Yeah. Right, be careful of this curb, all right? <laughs> this is the curb. I didn't actually say that in the video that it happened on a curb. That you curved out. I just said that the, the, the tire sad got thing is, we've, I've driven around that bend. I don't know how many times. And it's you never curved it. The thing is, you didn't even curb it that bad. No. It must have literally just been the angle at it that it hit. You can, you can tell by the tire it pinched it. Yeah. It pinched it just enough to split the bead, which is. Am I going straight? Yeah, straight over. We, we might be able to... I, I was, oh, I was, we had I, some tire problems. Popped a tire on the way here. Oh, no. Yeah. 
this day is just one thing after another. So got all the stuff in my car, we went to the original place and it was full. I mean typically when you go fishing you get up early and you get there so you can get a spot and obviously especially as it's just been permitted again with lockdown we knew it was going to be busy and obviously that's what we did we did get up early but that didn't work did it and so now we've just come to another place and literally <laughs> it was like a struggle driving up here because the amount of cars that are here but Dan's just gone to speak to the person to see if there's any spaces there's probably not and even if there is I have absolutely no idea where we're gonna put the car. In fact, I think I'm probably gonna ask Dan to get the car out of here anyway, because it's, there is just so many cars about. It is, it's crazy. What day, not what we anticipated. <laughs> just park it here. As long as people can get in and out that toilet block, it's fine. Oh, okay, do you wanna park it? Yeah. car now it's i think it's about oh, i don't even know is it like is it five i think it's about five o'clock and um, we didn't catch anything but it's what it is and it's just nice to be outside the weather was perfect literally could not have asked for more perfect weather so yeah now we've just got to run a few little errands we need to go drop the old tire off ready for the new one and stuff so yeah that's what we're gonna do we are back home and having a takeaway night. We stopped off at a chippy. We always do this after fishing. Do you remember we used to do it like that at church farm? We do not Yeah, we did actually, didn't we? Yeah, picked up some beers, picked up some chips, and we're just going to chill and enjoy that. Also, bought a couple of Hershey's cookies and cream, so it is definitely, definitely takeaway night, which is a good way to end the day, to be honest, isn't it? Fishing was a flop. Car broke. Yeah, but the fishing was still fun though. Look at that pile of chips. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. I am so full right now. I completed that meal. I ate all of it. It took me 20 minutes to do it, but I did it. But it's been really nice. We've had such a nice day. It's kind of felt like a normal day, the first normal feeling day since lockdown. It was so nice to be outside all day and the weather was just so beautiful. I'm so full right now and I'm tired. I'm calling it a night here, fell asleep on the sofa, so did Dan. I think being out in the fresh air all day has <laughs> taken it out of us and maybe the stress of the tire going pop too. I don't know, but anyway, Monday tomorrow, so I <sighs> needed to go to bed, I think. So anyway, ending this vlog, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Mm.